So today's video is going to be the April must-haves. These are products that I have discovered in the month of April that I absolutely love, or pretty close to the month of April, um, that I have given all month to try so that I can give you my opinion on them. Um, I know that April has a couple of days left, but I figured, you know, I might as well go ahead and get this video up. They're not all makeup products. Some of these products are beauty or skincare related products. With that being said, I think it's important that you take care of what goes underneath your makeup, which is your skin. So I'm going to go through a couple of these products and just talk about why I like them. Um, so yeah, let's just get into the video. The first products I'm going to talk about are makeup related products. Um, this particular product, the first one, this is the uh, NARS uh, Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I actually purchased this product at the end of March. Um, so I technically did not get it in the month of April, but I wanted to make sure that I used it for a full month to give you my honest opinion on it because I was really a little bit on the fence when I first touched this product. These pot concealers, when you are, um, you know, uh, have mature skin or it tends to fold a little bit when you tug on it, um, as what happens when we get into our 30s and 40s, these pot concealers can be a little bit tricky to use because they are very thick. And while they do cover because they're so thick, they can tend to crease and settle in those fine lines or they can tend to look a little bit crepey, especially if you cover them with a powder. Um, but this actually has a really nice consistency. It's pretty creamy and smooth. It is thick, but if you go in with a very light hand with this and then you set it with powder also with a very light hand, I think this is a beautiful concealer. I think NARS did a great job with this concealer, um, especially if you use a beauty blender or some kind of a damp sponge to blend this in with. I feel that the finish is really nice. It is a matte finish. It does not look... Um, dewy in my opinion at all. At least not on my skin it doesn't. It does give me a very matte finish. But I can go ahead and set this with a powder. Again, if I use a very light hand and use a damp beauty blender and it doesn't look creamy or cakey but it does conceal my dark circles. Um, the next thing I'm going to talk about is this beautiful guy right here which I don't even want to touch because it's so pretty. Um, this is the Too Faced Love Light Prismatic Highlighter and this is in the shade Blinded by the Light. Um, I really like Too Faced highlighters. I kind of feel like they get mixed reviews. I really like Too Faced concealers because I feel like you can use them in a subtle way or you can build them up and they're in bright and like bang highlights. So this one is an absolutely gorgeous shade. Um, the first time I tried it, I was kind of like, oh, this is going to be one of those highlights that's going to be like for days when I want my makeup to be like boom. But actually I use it a couple of other times very light handed and it gave a really nice natural highlight. Just a soft subtle glow that I could use when I'm not doing a full face of glam makeup. Um, you can actually use this highlighter. So this is definitely going to be one of my faves. I have two other ones, the Candlelight Highlights by Too Faced, which I absolutely love. And the only downside I would say, and this has nothing to do with Too Faced or the product, is that I am a psycho and I can't stand it when things have fingerprints. I usually keep this as what I cut, um, clean my iPad with and I have to like wipe it all off before I put it back in my beauty storage because, like I said, I'm crazy. This product right here, as you guys know if you've been watching the few, video, the few videos that I've posted on my channel, is this primer right here. This is the um, High Spreadability Fluid Primer by The Ordinary. I absolutely love this primer. I don't necessarily think it prolongs the, you know, your makeup. I think that there are other primers that are better for that. However, I do feel like this definitely blurs my pores and the lines in my, my forehead and around my nose. Um, and it's very hydrating. I got this one specifically because it said it was for mature skin and I have very dry skin. So I wanted something that was going to be very hydrating as well as a good primer or base for my makeup. And this absolutely is. The texture is very, very unique. It's something like I've never felt before. Um, like I said previously, it's kind of like a hydrating primer, almost like a hyaluronic acid and a silicone based primer mixed together. Um, it's really, really fresh. It feels good on the skin. My skin soaks it in right away, but I don't feel slimy or greasy or I feel like my makeup going to slide all over the place and I even use this underneath my Rimmel foundation which is one of the most dewy foundations that I have and it was absolutely gorgeous. I highly recommend this product. You can get this product I'm pretty sure on beautylish.com maybe six or seven dollars which is a fantastic price for a primer period let alone a primer of this quality. This actually gives you quite a bit as well. Some of the other primers don't give you as much. This is one fluid ounce which is much as your standard foundation. It comes with this Nice little dropper right here. Half a dropper is more than enough to cover my whole face. Uh, next product is going to be um, also kind of a makeup related product. This is the Physician's Formula Organic Wear Bright Boost Oil Elixir. 
Um, first of all, I, I, I got sucked into buying it because the packaging is so pretty. I love the flowers. I love how it looks springy and bright and it just, it totally, I got sucked into the package. But after I got to looking at it, and I don't have the outside box to tell you everything that's in it, but I do know that two of the oils that are in it is argan oil, which some people can feel like that's a little bit heavy for your skin. Um, but it also has camellia oil. Camellia oil is a fantastic oil for your skin. It's non-comedogenic. You can use it even if you have oily skin. It's a very light feeling oil. I love this oil because I can wear this underneath my makeup and I don't feel greasy. It looks absolutely beautiful. It doesn't make me look um, greasy or doesn't feel runny underneath my foundation. It absolutely soaks into my skin with no problem. Definitely helps with those dry patches and those areas that things kind of get a little bit crusty, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, this will totally help you with that. I think almost everybody should have a beauty oil in their regimen, in their beauty regimen. Even if you have oily skin, I know people feel like, oh, I have oily skin and I want to put oil on my skin. Your skin needs moisture. Your skin needs a balance of lipids and oils to protect it. So this is a fantastic oil even if you have oily skin. I would definitely give this one a try. Next product are two more face products that I have discovered. Now, these products are not new at all, but they are new to me. I have a very, very hard time finding skincare products because I have some allergies and things like that that a lot of... Um, brands put the particular things on where to in their skincare and because they're really good for your skin I just can't use them unfortunately, but I found this first aid beauty products these two pudics pudics <laughs> Pudics it's a new line don't you know it's beauty and products together these two products right here are um, by First Aid Beauty. This one is the Ultra Repair Face Moisturizer, non-comedogenic, safe for sensitive skin. And then this one is the Ultra Repair Hydra Firm Sleeping Cream. These are both phenomenal. I absolutely love these two products, can I just tell you. They're great for my dry skin. I have noticed a huge difference that I've been using them all month long. They were a little bit pricey. At first I was kind of like, you know, for my wallet. But the great thing is that when a product is actually really good, you don't need that much. You don't need like a huge pump to cover your entire face. You just need a little bit. Like for example, the Ultra Repair um, Sleeping Cream. This one, I don't even know if you're gonna be able to see this on camera, but I don't know if you can even, you probably can't even see that. I've literally probably only used this much and I've used this all month long. You just need about a pea size, maybe a little bit bigger than a pea size that covers your whole face and your neck. Um, it's absolutely fabulous. It doesn't feel greasy or slimy like sometimes when you get creams for nighttime they can tend to feel a little bit heavy but this doesn't feel like that this is lightweight it soaks right in right in my skin um, it definitely has made a difference I wouldn't necessarily say that it is firming um, now of course I've only used it for a month so maybe you have to use you know use it for longer to be able to tell but it does has made a dramatic difference in my dry skin for sure I absolutely love this product this one is also awesome for the daytime this is when I use this I mix this with a little bit of pure hyaluronic acid put it underneath, on underneath my makeup and boom my makeup looks smooth and flawless and my skin feels really good and it doesn't feel slimy at all and I can even use it in conjunction with this and I still don't feel greasy or slimy so it's an excellent product like I said it's a little bit pricier um, maybe than something that you could pick up at the drugstore or at Target or something like that but totally totally worth it and your skin is totally worth spending a little bit of extra money to take care of last product for skincare type stuff and I'm actually almost done I told you I didn't have that many is this right here I have been loving this. This is the Dr. Teal's Pure Epsom Salt Body Oil. And this is in the scent lavender. It doesn't really smell like lavender as much as I like it. It doesn't smell like lavender, but it does smell good. Um, but this stuff is awesome. So basically the claims that it makes is that it instantly soothes dry skin and seals in moisture. It's a gentle formula that absorbs quickly. I 100% agree with both of those claims. Basically what you do is when you're done showering, you when you get out you don't like take all the water off of your body so you get your towel and you just kind of like pat the drippage and while your body is still damp you squirt a little bit in your hands and you rub it all over your body and it helps it to soak into your to your skin all that moisture that's sitting on top of your skin it definitely has made a huge difference in my skin I my skin absolutely glows when I use this but I don't feel slimy if you sit on a leather seat that you're sliding all over the place this doesn't feel like that it soaks into my skin right away my skin absolutely loves it the smell is really nice even though it doesn't smell like lavender it's really nice and I actually got this I think at Walmart it was only a couple of bucks I have stopped using almost like all of my body moisturizers and I've been using this this entire month love it totally obsessed totally obsessed you need to buy this it's awesome um next thing is kind of a non-beauty product however it is beauty related in my opinion 
Um, my husband and I, um, we, we technically finished this at the beginning of April, so I wanted to talk about it in my April favorites so that I could give you my full opinion on it. Um, it is actually this. This is a, I guess, quote-unquote diet that you would you could call. It's called um, the Whole30, the 30-Day Guide to Total Health and Food Freedom. The idea behind this um, diet is that you basically, it's used to be an elimination diet, so you basically eliminate all dairy, sugar, um, alcohol, refined um, like products, grains, legumes, um, almost everything. Basically, you eat proteins, vegetables, fruits, and there are some approved fats. I won't go into too much detail on it, but you basically follow this plan, and after the 30 days is over, you reintroduce things little by little to kind of see like how your body handles it. Because the idea behind it is that a lot of the things that bother us, whether it be digestion problems or stress or skin problems, are actually a result of things that are happening inside your body because of what you are eating. So this helps you to kind of see, like, you do the diet, say you add back legumes, which are beans, you know, you add back beans and then you feel fine, okay? Obviously that's not something that bothers you, but then say you go to add back in grains, right? You eat, you eat brown rice and then you, you kind of don't feel so good for a couple days. Oh, okay, you know, maybe that's something that bothers you. I will have to say it totally made a difference for me. It definitely helped my skin for sure because I definitely noticed that I kind of had a little bit of funkiness going on in my skin. I felt like I had like a lot of texture right up in here in my forehead by like the end of the first week and then by the end of the, the, the whole 30 days it was gone and I feel like my skin looks so much better I feel so much better I have more energy and I'm not pushing anything on anybody just check it out if you're interested in seeing it with that being said you can't really drink a whole lot of things you can have water tea and you can have coconut water as long as it is it is 100% pure coconut water so we tried a lot of different coconut waters for the 30 days let me tell you and the best one hands down I have ever had is this guy right here this is the Harmless Harvest Coconut Water. This, and I know you're probably thinking like coconut water is coconut water, like what does it matter, what kind of coconut water you drink. This stuff is the best coconut water and it says, it's so it's pink, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but the coconut water is pink and most of the ones that you buy in the store are clear, or kind of a milky clear consistency or color. Um, like you would think inside of coconut it should look and so I looked at the back and I was like why is this pink like did they add stuff to it you know because that's not good you're not supposed to have coloring added to your your drinks but this is basically saying that these particular coconuts are harvested from Thailand and it says um, hold on I'll read you the actual thing because it's pretty cool okay it says coconut water contains varying levels of antioxidants that can make it turn pink and said so instead of hiding this harmless and natural color change we embrace it pink or clear they're both delicious they are not lying when they say delicious this stuff is the bomb oh my gosh this stuff is so good if you haven't tried it and you see it in the store pick it up try it you will not be sorry it was super good so that completes this video you guys I, like i said i didn't have a whole lot of stuff to talk about this month um Hopefully you didn't find the video too boring. Leave me a comment down below on the products that you have been loving this month and I will go check them out. Thank you so, so much for watching. Please hit subscribe to see more videos from me. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget SPF is your best friend and I will see you guys next time. Bye.